Hey guys, it's good to be back. Now I'm going to show you my latest short film and after I'm going to walk you through it and show you how and why we made it. Enjoy! Här är Leslie. Här är Andreasen. Utsikten är god. Värförhållen är optimala. Det är med för riktighet. Får väl ta en duell då? Vi får väl det. Jeg tror at ingen blir nevneverdig bedrøvet dersom ditt liv i dag skulle gå tapt. De har kanskje rett. Ja, takk for det. Til gjengjeld tror jeg at deres bortgang ville skape glede i den generelle befolkning. Godt sagt, min gode mann. Vi har ankommet stedet. Det var her det store slaget sto, for mange, mange år siden. Mangt et liv har gått tapt på denne jord. Ja, da er det duell, da. Reglene er som følger. Vi tar begge fem skritt, og etter de fem skrittene så avgjøres vår kjebene. Klar. En, to, tre, fire, fem! Vet du hva? Hva sier de? Altså, hvor er manerene mine? Vi har jo ikke tatt den siste kaffen. Den må vi se å få tatt. Da gjør vi det først. Ja, det må være svart kaffe. Og så må vi ha noe kraftkost. Ja, da ser jeg frem til å drepe dem en annen gang. Ved juletid neste år, for eksempel. Tja, kanskje det. Skål. Skål, da. Okay, what did I just see? Maybe this is what you're thinking, so here's a short behind the scenes video on how this film came to be. It was a beautiful sunny day at the end of August. We had found the perfect location with big open fields and small traditional looking houses in the background. Because this was about a good old fashioned pistol duel, I wanted the story to be set in the 1800s. My friend Daniel had some contacts with a local museum, which let us borrow some old-fashioned looking clothes. I shot everything with my Sony a7S and the 24-70 f4. For the audio I used the wireless Sennheiser lavaliers. I hate wires. They, they stack themselves everywhere, alright? To conceal the lavaliers, we hid them under the handkerchiefs. Although a dedicated boom pole would probably be better, I think it worked surprisingly well. 
One challenge during the shooting was the strong direct sunlight. So we had to use a reflector for most of the close-ups. But this also gave us a really nice backlight, which I think always raises the production value. Like this backlight. As you can see, it gives a lot more depth to the image. And thankfully, the A7S has an electronic viewfinder, so you can easily see the image. In addition, the A7S has built-in markers for filming in Cinemascope, which makes it easy to get the right composition. Another challenge was that we actually only had one pistol. To solve this, I always filmed one of the actors with a pistol at a time. Claude. And this scene is actually two different shots, which I stitched together in After Effects. In this film, I also spent some extra time with the sound design. I noticed how much adding background ambience helped with the film's atmosphere. Well, here the store slaget sto for many, many years ago. I also used a lot of sound effects to enhance all the small details and movements. A final fun fact, the old house at the end of the film was shot inside the house you can see in the background of the Norway 200 years film. Normen och svenske. <laughs> Sorry. Var <laughs> har Okay, so now we know about the production. But what's the deal with the story? Well, the funny thing is that this actually started as a test film, which I made many years ago. Although unintentional, what I really liked about the test film was the underlying tone. Both characters presented themselves as these tough and confident guys. But when finally confronted with the real situation, they just found an excuse to back out. So it was all just a big anti-climax. Okay, maybe I'm the only one who finds this funny. At least I hope you enjoyed the filmmaking part. Finally, as some of you may know, Anders and I have been working on a lot of different projects lately. Most noteworthy, our biggest YouTube film so far, the Camera Hack short film. It's been an incredible experience from the very beginning. It's been a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. Run! <laughs> We're now complete with all the principal photography and pickup scenes, and I've started the editing. We hope to have everything ready in January. And of course, I have a lot more reviews and short films coming up. So stay tuned and see you soon. This time it's the 18th century, 18th, 18th century, in the 17th, 20th century, 18th century, 18th, 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 18th century, 18th, 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 it's a bit of a long time, I don't know what you mean.